Psalm 10. David spent a lot of his time suffering from other people. And actually that is part of our life experience for all of us. We spend a lot of time, many parts of our lives are suffering because of words, actions, dysfunctions of other people. And he reflects upon his enemies, those he was scared of. He says, man is of the dust. And when God judges the fatherless and the oppressed, man who is of the dust will terrify no more. So he's saying, why should I be scared of man who is dust? And we need to have that perspective that man is only dust. On one hand, yes, we should respect and give meaning and value to every human person. On the other hand, it is also true that man is pathetically weak. He lives for just a fraction of a millimetre in the perspective of the infinite line of eternity. He is weak morally, mentally, physically, just dust and water, and dies very, very easily, does not live very long, and that's the end of it. If you have that perspective, you not only will not fear people, you will also pity pity people. You will pity that successful middle-aged business person who appears to have it all because their time's running out. It's game over soon for them, very soon. You will not have heroes amongst men because man is only of the dust. What can he do, really, to help you? only of dust. You yourself are only of dust, but you are saved. We are so fragile, so fragile. We live on a planet that is set up on a very delicate balance so that human life is possible here. Our own bodies can just collapse at any moment if one part of the function is taken out, the heart stops beating, whatever. And this helps us to live in a sense of gratitude to God and closeness to him and of understanding of the men of dust who surround us.